In this video, we're going to be using Visual Basic to make a little game called Guess the Number, and it's going to introduce you to the world of looping, so some loops in our code. What we have to do to play this game is click the Start button, and a box comes up telling us to enter our guess. And basically, we've got to guess a number between 1 and 100. So I'll guess 50 to start with, right in the middle. It says 50 is too low, so we'll try 60. Still too low. 70. Too low. It's a pretty big number. 80 is too low, 90, too high. Alright, so I'm at attempt number 6 already, and I know it's between 80 and 90. So I'll try 85, too high, 84, too high, 83, got it. So it tells you the number was 83 when you guess it right. This box will also appear after 10 guesses and give you the answer as well. Okay, so it's a simple little game, but you can see I was guessing over and over again until I got it right. Okay, and if you had to write the code each time I made a guess, that would be a lot of code you'd have to write. So instead, we're going to use a loop in our code to loop one little section of code over and over again until I get that guess right. Okay, and of course we've got an exit button which will allow us to exit our app. So let's make a new project today, and we'll use Visual Basic and a Windows Forms app just here. The name of our game is, um, let's just call it Number Guess, and save that in your document somewhere, so click Browse and choose your documents and save it somewhere in there. Let's click on OK. When your form pops up, just stretch it out a little bit and make it nice and long there. Um, we want to change its back colour to black. And scrolling down, we're going to change a few things here. Actually, the text, we'll change it to guess the number. Coming down a bit further, the name for our form will be FRM number guess. And the last one in the layout section, you want to look for the start position and set the start position to center screen. So when our app runs, it starts in the center of our screen. Okay, so that's our form looking good. Next thing we'll bring out is a label from our toolbox. So bring a label up top here. Uh, you want to change its font to be something a little bit bigger. So I'm going to choose 22 and bold. Four color. You need a nice light color that's going to stand out on black. So oh, gold. The text is going to be guess the number in capital letters. And the name, LVL header. will be good. So let's move that into position somewhere up the top center. Next thing we're going to do is whack in a couple of buttons. Okay, so the next thing is putting in one button and giving it the name BTN start. And then giving it the text start. Feel free to make that font a little bit bigger and the button a little bit bigger if you would like. I'm just going to copy that button and I'm going to paste that button in again. Putting it down the bottom, this button is going to say Exit, and its name will be BTN Exit. Let's code this Exit button up now by double clicking on it and simply typing in the word End. End is the simple keyword to close our program. Next, we'll click on the Start button, actually, sorry, double click on the Start button, and we can start coding it now. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do to get our app started is declare some variables. Alright, so we're going to write DIM, so declare in memory. I'm going to do two variables as an integer. The first one is count. Okay, and count is basically recording the number of attempts the user has. Okay, remember we've got 10 attempts to get this number right. So count will keep track of that. The second one we're going to declare is number. Okay, and the variable number will hold the random value that the user has to guess. Okay, so that's the number between 1 and 100. And we're declaring them as integers. So remember, you can declare two variables at once, just put a comma between them. And that's declared both of those variables as integers. On the next line, we're going to be declaring another variable called correct. And that's going to be a Boolean. Now, a Boolean value has two states, either true or false. Okay, so our variable correct, obviously it's going to be, has the user correctly guessed our number or haven't they? That's a simple one. And the final one we're going to declare is guess. And we're going to guess 
So have guess variable as a string. So the user will type into the text box their guess. So that's picking their number between 1 and 100. And that is going to be a string. Alrighty. So let's get our randomizer into action. Okay, this is going to get the computer to pick a random number between 1 and 100. Alright, so we write in the word randomize and we spell it the American way with a Z. Put some brackets at the end of that. And then we write number equals INT, which stands for integer, and RND for randomize. Don't worry about it, this it doesn't make too much sense right now. I don't fully understand it either, but basically what this says is pick a random number between 1 and 100. I think our randomizer starts at 0, so we have to put this plus 1 at the end, so it picks, uh, goes all the way to 100, basically. I might even put a little comment in there by putting a little quotation mark here. And you can just write after that, select the random number to guess. Okay. Remember, comments are really important in your code. When you run your program, the compiler or the computer just does it. They disregard this section here, okay? So anything in green with a little quotation mark before it is a comment. And it's just plain, simple English that helps the user to understand what's going on in the code. All right. A couple other things we want to set at this stage. We want to set the value of correct to false. Okay, so remember correct up here is a Boolean value. It can be true or false. At the moment, the user's guess is false, okay? They haven't got it correct yet. The other thing we want to do is set count to 1. Okay, the count is the number of attempts the user has had at guessing the number. Okay, so this is going to be their first attempt when the app is run. Alright, so pressing enter twice, we can get into the guts of the program now, and we're going to create a loop. So I'm going to write a few lines of code and then try and explain it to you. So we're going to create a do while loop. I'm going to do the while loop while our count is less than 11 and correct equals false and I might put another little um, comment in here so give the user 10 guesses okay so what we're going to do is we're doing this we're going to loop some code over and over again while the count is less than 11 so that means they've had less than 10 guesses and they haven't guessed it correctly, so correct will equal false still. Okay, and anything below this line of code is what's going to be looped over and over again. Okay, so let's put in the code that needs to be looped over and over again. First thing, we want to get the input from the user. So we want to get their guess. So they have to type in a number between 1 and 100. So we write guess equals, and we're going to make an input box appear. Now, an input box is just like a message box, but it allows the user to type a value in. Okay, so we write input box, in quotation marks, write enter your guess. And close those quotation marks. Now, we can style this input box up a little bit, like we do with the message boxes. So I'm going to put a comma. And in quotation marks, again, I'm going to write attempt with a space. And this is what will go at the top of the message box as a header. We're going to tell the user what attempt they're up to. So I'll write attempt with a space and then close the quotation marks. Then do the ampersand sign and write count. So it's going to show them attempt number one to start with. And as their guesses go up, it will just show that attempt two, attempt three, attempt four, all the way up to ten, or until they guess it correctly. Okay. Um, so what else have we got to do? We'll go down onto the next line. After they've typed in their guess, we'll worry about the next bit. So we'll write if val guess. So that's basically looking at their input, what they put into the input box, and converting it to an integer. So if their guess equals the number, so that random number we've come up with, then correct will equal true. All right, so I might just in the comment here if the guess is correct but it's not always going to be correct okay they're obviously going to get a few wrong so we'll write else we'll put another, another little comment here that says if the guess is incorrect 
So what else do we do if they get the guess wrong? So we want to give them a few hints. So whether they're too high or too low. So we're going to do another if statement. We've got a few of these going on. If the guess is less than the number, so that random number we've come up with, then we're going to have a message box pop up. That message box is simply going to say, too low. I'm going to style up this message box a little bit, so I put a comma outside those quotation marks and write VB exclamation, that'll put a little exclamation mark and play a little sound, like a warning sound, to show that they haven't got it right. And up the top, we're going to write in attempt with space and close the quotation marks and put the ampersand sign and write count. All right, and that's just going to show what attempt they're up to as a little header in that message box. And then we got else. So that basically says if the number's too high now, I'm just going to copy this piece of code and paste it in here as well. Instead of being too low, it's going to be too high now. Okay, and we can end that if off there. So I might just put in some um, comments here. So guess is too low. And guess is too high. And if, alright, so we're still going, we're not quite finished yet, we're nearly there. Last thing we're going to do is we're going to do count equals count plus one. Okay, so each time they make a guess, we have to add our little counter up. So count will equal count plus one, whatever number it was before. So if count equals one to start with, they have their guess. And then we add one to that, so it goes up to attempt number two, or count number two. Okay, that's all that line of text is saying. Okay, we've got end if written there. We've got loop written there. That closes our loop off. So this is our loop section. This is the piece of code that's just going to loop over and over again until they guess it correctly. Okay, outside of that loop, we're going to put in one final message box. And that message box is going to say the number was put a space and then the ampersand signed and write number. So this message box will be displayed if they guess the number correctly or if they run out of guesses. Okay, so if their guesses get over 10 or if they're correct equals true, which means they've guessed the number and this message box will display what the answer was. Okay, you can end the sub and end the class there. That should automatically pop up. Hopefully that's our app all coded up. A little bit confusing, but if you do break it down step by step, hopefully that starts to make a little bit of sense. Let's just run it now and test it. Remember our app's going to start in the middle of the page, and the reason we want it to start in the middle of the page and have this big empty space here is because when we press start, this little uh, message box appears. So you can see attempt one appears over here. Okay, that was this little section in the code, and it shows the count, so at the moment count's number one. We enter our guess as 50. Click OK, you see attempt one is still there, it tells us that it's too low. Where well, we've got VB exclamation in our code, and that's this little exclamation mark here. Okay, so you can see now attempt has gone up to attempt number two. That's just looping this code over and over again Oops. until we um, get this code right. Oh, sorry, this guess right. So I'll just keep going, we'll get this right eventually. 80, 90, must be a big number this one. 98, 97, you can see I'm running out of guesses, so let's see what happens. There we go, so we finally guessed it right, so we jump out of that loop, and we display this message box at the bottom, what the answer was. I'll click OK on that. And that's our game over. You can play it again if you want, or you can simply exit. All right, so a little bit confusing. I know there's a few new things there, and I probably didn't explain that overly well. But just break it down step by step, and it should start to make a little bit of sense to you.